Hi guys, in this video I show you how to create a snow test effect or any snow background image. First take any snow background something like this as shown in my video. That's enough to create this snow effect as well. Okay. Let's start the procedure. First take type tool. T is a shortcut command in keyboard. And I'm taking here default font that is uh, Mirror Pro. And after set the font style as bold, okay. After write down any name on the document, what do you want to effect on the stage? Here I am writing double three D means double three designschools.com. That is my domain name. I have written very shortly this name. Okay, that's fine. Now increase the text size. Uh, hold Control Shift in PC, Command Shift in Mac. After press a right angle bracket in the keyboard, then you will get gradually the big size. Okay, and uh, arrange it in center. Mm, even then, I'm feeling little small, so increase size little bigger. Just press Control T and scale it. Okay, so far so good. Now go to layer palette and select type a layer. Just right click on that layer. After choose here, convert to shape. And then you can see the layer mask thumbnail. Okay, that's fine. Now do it again mask. Just click on this layer mask icon. Okay, this layer mask help adjust to give as no effect. That is also I let you know after brush setting how does it works. Okay, now I mean go ahead, brush brushes. Further simply go to window and choose brush. F5 is the shortcut command in keyboard. Okay, here follow the setting as showing my video. Brush shape, take 59 of the number. Uh, this is a default brush shape. Choose this one. After select shape dynamics, then you can see the size jitter. Uh, keep it 100%. Uh, minimum diameter, keep it 0%. After choose angle jitter, and this one also keep it 100%. And roundness jitter also keep it 100%. Uh, make sure uh, minimum roundness should be 2%. Okay, uh, that's fine. After uh, select scattering, uh, here uh, you can see a scatter, uh, keep it 55% uh, and turn off the both axis and here take count 1 and uh, count jitter take 100% uh, make sure uh, both of the control is off ok after final setting uh, texture uh, select texture and then here uh, if you're not able to see uh, these all textures then simply click this small icon in right side one after choose here uh, patterns uh, then you could be uh, visible these all textures as well okay uh, that's fine and now I'm choosing here this cloud 128 pixels one that textures is this one which is showing here and scale this textures into 120 percent and make sure mode should be a uh, subtract and depth here 50 percent uh, depth jitter uh, 0 percent control is off that's it brush setting has done uh, okay so far so good now go to layer palette and see here vector mask thumbnail uh, just click on it now it is active uh, when it is active then you can see highlight line on the edges after take pen tool P is the shortcut command in keyboard just right click anywhere of the text then you can see the option of the stroke path uh, when you choose this stroke path uh, then you can get uh, one of the pop-up menu a stroke path yes uh, this is good uh, make sure here uh, tool should be press and uh, uh, turn off the simulate pressure and uh, click on OK. 
now see uh, over the document it is uh, getting amazing effect like a snow effect now see the fun how it's getting uh, some more result as uh, a realistic snow effect uh, first choose a brush from the tool palette or press B in keyboard after increase brush size whether you want and then just press enter key in keyboard then you will get uh, some more snow spreading on the edges here before uh, what we did brush setting those setting here it is working as properly that's fine uh, when you feel happy the effect in the edges then uh, don't press enter button after simply choose a uh, layer mask thumbnail what we did a uh, second time mask so that is uh, this one make sure here uh, it is still selected or not uh, then after uh, edges of this text a uh, little messed up so adjust it by masking as shown in my video uh, this masking uh, gives a realistic snow effect on the edges of the snow background uh, really this is uh, very simply uh, we can do it as well uh, see here uh, it's looking uh, very amazing uh, by using these tricks uh, you can create um, any shape of the snow design or anything so what you wish okay fine uh, here uh, don't worry too much about this uh, black color now I will change this color into water color like a little dark blue just follow my video steps as showing uh, first click on uh, FX icon in the bottom of the layer palette and choose the gradient overlay here change the color uh, what you feeling uh, better to that effect uh, already I have create uh, three color variants but I would prefer a uh, lost gradient color uh, this color value uh, you can see here after a click uh, over there so that is 0 0 3 B 6 5 and uh, other color value is 0 0 2 3 3 C okay that's good uh, we have done uh, color correction after choose uh, bevel and emboss here a uh, very first one structure style uh, change into pillow emboss uh, direction is up that's fine and uh, depth uh, keep it uh, 100% and uh, size uh, change into uh, 30 pixels soften 0 pixels uh, default value is fine uh, angle change into uh, 140 degree uh, altitude 70 degree here uh, in this case uh, global light it's not required so turn off it after you can see uh, on the stage what's the results so are you getting to turn off this global light now uh, we are reaching snow effect little well on the edges and after a highlight mode a screen is fine and uh, uh, white color also fine it doesn't matter it doesn't require to change other any color keep uh, opacity uh, zero percent and shadow mode opacity keep it hundred percent here a uh, shadow color change into blue color as showing After final setting, uh, choose drop shadow. Here uh, you change the following setting. First change a uh, blend mode color into the blue color. Uh, this color should be a little lighter than before so what we took the blue color in the bevel and emboss. And then blend mode change into overlay. 
actually this effect gives us a little highlight on the edge as well you can see this little variance also in the edges and then increase opacity 100 percent uh, distance 5 pixels and the size 5 pixels uh, now see the final results how it is uh, really this is uh, amazing effect uh, what you thinking about this effect just leave the comments uh, below my video and if you like this video then subscribe my channel uh, just hit my subscribe button and next video also I will bring something new tricks uh, for beginners I am making a lot of videos step by step to learn as well I will start to post as soon by the way thank you for watching and subscribe my video bye bye